everybody welcome back to my videos my name is Joe for anybody new here I have recently say recently about two years ago took over my dad's farm as he passed away these are kind of videos that will uh, record my progress so today as you would have seen off the last video I traveled up to where the Christmas market is currently staying at a friend's place for a couple of days as well as going to see a couple of people, a couple of members of the family who live locally. I brought Dad's old vehicle as requested. And we're going to go head down and check out the market and the classic tractor show. Vintage tractor show, whatever you want to call it. Now, I do know there's no parking as such for in the way of everybody else but I have been given a parking spot near the entrance or near where the where they've closed the road they've always had parking issues at this spot because it is a narrow road I have been given permission to park right basically right where the police are wherever that is at least there crowd control I suspect what that's for it was snowing when I arrived um, it did lay a little bit but as this is the next day the snow's kind of melted okay. a friend did say it was this road here I believe there is the sled and reindeer that he was on about Get down here and see what they've got. Now they said there's some railings, barriers. Oh, I see them. I can park in front of. So these are the ones. Is this a woodyard? Oh, it's a woodyard. Right, let's see what we got here. Where the police are. They know my reg plate, so they know it's me. Right, let's go and have a look. We bring back some memories. As I said previously, it's been a few years. I was 10 years old when I came here. Definitely took up the whole parking lot this time. It is a parking lot. Uh, 10 years old, just remember, I think they only had half of this, so, yeah, got a lot of stuff here, I do like the uh, trees at the entrance, um, I'm not sure what's going to be the best way to do this, so I think what I'm going to do, probably go around the market first, Ooh, some old cars here, dad wanted that one, Set of the one that he's got now. He wanted one of these. I think it was due to the room inside. But, uh, yeah, he's got what he he's got. What he got. These, I believe, are American. That's a beast of a car. But that was fun to drive in here. Gingerbread. Hot rod. Uh, gingerbread. Have they got no pricing, so I don't know how much they are. Look really nice though. It's a hot rod and a half, that is. I don't know if it's actually classed as a hot rod, I've always called it a hot rod. But that is really nice. Yeah, festive mugs. Too many buy any more I'll be overrun by them looks like they've got some mold wine here as well selling plants what do we got here okay food and drink and all sorts looks good though gotta say does look good 
Is that an ice cream stand I see? Old for ice cream. Okay, wooden stuff. Farm animals and all sorts. It's taken ages to kind of carve that. I know they look simple, but some of those must take a while. Uh, where we got some snacks. I might try some of those later on. Some ice cream, which I definitely won't be trying. It's too cold enough as it is. What do we got? Where do I start? Ooh. Tanker looks familiar. And the sprayer. Old Massey 188. I'm going to put it out there now. I don't know much about older tractors. We know of them. Some of the models, but I don't know anything else about it. I recognise these because there's a farmer in my local area that actually uses these. 85, 1250. I don't know if it's him. It's been a long travel if it is him. I do know somebody that uses these. A mud spreader, a splash plate on the back. Really nice little sprayer that is. I actually hadn't seen any of these Massey vehicles, tanker and the sprayer, up until I saw the uh, small farmer uses them. Is that a multi power? Real multi power? That one isn't. Well, that one is. That 765. I think my uncle has one similar to that. It's on a front loader. Or with a front loader on it. Ooh, I've not seen that one before. What have we got? 240 Massey. Orchard. Okay, is that. I'm guessing that's one they use at an orchard. What the? I've not seen those. Well, I say I've not seen them. Didn't think there was any around. I don't even know what model or make it is. Kept nice and clean though. And then the one behind, beside it, I don't even know the make. I don't know the make. I've not heard of. Uh, yeah, I've not heard of. Link on the back. That yellow one looks like it's probably American. I don't think I've seen. I don't think I've seen one in the UK up until this point. But, uh, yeah. Beefy machines. Yeah, I think this is the American one. Don't know anything about it, unfortunately. We're going on to the Fords. So, is that Silver Jubilee, I believe? You just flashlight. Looks like a, yeah, Silver Jubilee one. I don't know how many of those are around. I don't think there's that many, though. I've got to say, these, from what I've seen so far, these look in very, very good condition. They've been kept very well. 510 Ford, similar to the what we've got, I think it's probably a little bit smaller. It's clean back end. That's a beast. We've got Ford FW30. Okay. It's a beast and a half. I ain't going to go in because I don't know if we're allowed to. There's no sign saying if we can or can't. And the hell? Steiger. I'm guessing case. Oh, yeah, I'm guessing case with it being a Steiger. I could be wrong on that. Oh, 
I would love to get one of these at the farm, but I have a feeling with the small roads, they probably going to have a bit of trouble. I will have a bit of trouble. Let's see the old Fords out and about, though. I wonder if that's a local one. Mercedes. MB track, is that? Needs a bit of work, but it looks all right. Really nice. Definitely need some work though. There is some older combines by the look of it. That must have been a very, very dusty job. No cab whatsoever. Very simple, belt driven, chain driven, some of them, I believe. No cab, that must be a very dusty job. Compared to what today's machines are like. Oh, someone just took their time to make a tractor out of hay bale. Straw bale, sorry, not hay bales. It's clever. Don't know much about this brand. Bison. Okay. Yep, for that Chase IH. We got these probably American. I haven't seen any here in the UK. Uh, 886 International. Another international there as well. Really clean. Really impressed about the, how clean and how uh, well kept it. they are. All of them that I've seen so far. Must take a lot of work. Format. We've got some farm all here. I've only seen these on videos of YouTube. We've seen them live. Got the format standard. Super 4W. Sorry, but I have no idea what that stands for. Farm all. This one. Really nice. Don't know about driving that in the winter though. Be a bit chilly. Really clean though. Really nice and clean. It's got hydraulics. It's like PTO. No three point links, but I don't think they had them in those days. Everything was just a, a hook up like that. Moving on to John Deere's. Well, I could have a belt attached to it for something. We got John Deere, I think, it's a 4000 series diesel. Can't really tell, the cab's hiding it. Looks like it's done some work. Still in very good condition. And a 420, four, uh, get my words out in a minute. 4320 diesel. Really nice. PTO. Seven ten. I've heard of these seven tens, but I've not actually seen one. Can't say that now because I've just seen one. Hadn't seen one up until this point. Really nice. What's that? Zeeper. Name rings a bell, but I didn't know they were tractor. Really nice. Still cold in the winter. That nasty nice really nice I'm surprised at the uh, detail they go through to uh, keep these tractors like they do really really nice 
going to have to see who owns these and see if it is the farmer that was actually uh, lives near me on the farm. I've seen the sprayer and the slurry spreader as I was going through town one day. Good to see if it is him. It took him a while to get it all up here though. A very long while. Right. I'm going to take a bit of time to kind of enjoy it, try some of the food out, chat, and uh, yeah, enjoy it a little bit. I believe there is a, a fireworks display coming up later. Uh, the people that run the tractors have been going for 25 years, I believe, and they're having a little celebration from fireworks. So we will see what that's like. I will catch you when that happens. See you in a moment. Looks like the fireworks display has started. I've just come outside, just outside the uh, market itself to get a good view. I'm going to be quiet for a little bit. Let you enjoy. Display that. Really nice. Enjoyed that very much. I don't know how well that came out on camera. I will check. I'll do the edit. Edit. So for this one, really nice uh, Christmas market. This. I enjoyed myself on here. So while I'm before I end the video, I'm going to say a big Merry Christmas to everybody. Hope you have a, a good Christmas. 
or whatever you celebrate this time of year. I hope you have a fun and a good time. I'll also wish everybody a happy new year now. I will also probably have a new year video come up. Um, Neighbours asked me to see if we would jump in to do our own little fireworks display at the farm, which I'm quite interested to do. So from me, Joe, my family and the farm, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I'll catch you on the other side. Bye bye for now.